Hi, welcome back. This is Wan Lin, La Princesse des Beaux-Arts, and in today's video, I'm sharing with y'all my two sketchbooks that I dropped off last week for my application to the drawing year at the Royal Drawing School in London. I think there's a lot of useful advice and inspiration you can take from what I made and what I do now. So here is my smaller red sketchbook. It is my so-called writing sketchbook that doubles as a journal. I do a lot of collaging and drawing from real life. I write down a lot of my thoughts in this portable red sketchbook. I think it's important also to find um, a format of sketchbook that you find really comfortable and pleasing and inside I write a lot of my for example a dream diary observations people watching this here is a lady on the train to Strasbourg when I visited with my friend to a Christmas market some manifestation letters to God I always write dear God instead of dear diary because I find it's the same idea but a bit more powerful inside I also have compositions thumbnails ideas for drawings that I would like to make or videos. Here in red, for example, was an airport lounge in Houston. This is a medical museum, the old operating theater. And inside, for example, a one-day journal entry of people watching at the gym. And this warped glass that I really liked on the side of a pub, I found it to be so mesmerizing and a vision from the future, some more metaphysical sketches. Now I find in my sketchbook it's a great place to process ideas because oftentimes you have a lot of abstract imagination and having pages in front of you to really expand and elaborate or keep note of that is very helpful because oftentimes, usually, if you have lots of ideas and you don't note them down in any way. They tend to disappear and go to someone else even. And it's interesting also to see chronologically how your ideas or your mood, tastes, preferences shift over time over the pages of a sketchbook. Now this here was the Cedric Museum of Natural History in Cambridge. I saw this massive extinct moose skeleton and I thought a lot about the concept of time and how massive it is inside the scheme of natural history or on the left here is the royal no the english national opera and here was just a little setup in a dining hall of a religious organization where i went on retreat and i had an epiphany there i realized that everything's really internal and this was the drawing room where i did a lot of reading and sometimes I, live, I leave these unfinished places in my sketchbooks if I want to go back and fill them in. For example, if I collage something. On the left, a concert that I really enjoyed. On the right, an abstract drawing from a sound bath I did. So you see, everything is quite varied. I don't put any limitations on myself. This was a voice master class at the Royal Opera House. I tried to draw all the resonating frequencies I felt and orchard show orchid show at the horticultural society a cafe i like or reflections on the wall a self-portrait from imagination now i think it's a great place to experiment and not sort of uh, confine yourself to a certain style also when i draw environments or different places I really like to, you can see here I, how I picked off some leaves and flowers from the garden I visited. I really don't like to limit myself. Um, you do a lot of experimentation in sketchbooks, which helps you uh, find what you like, find what fascinates you, and it really helps you be more self-aware also. And you can be as strange, as weird as you like, um, it is a bit odd to know that some reviewer will be looking at this, but at a certain point, I thought to myself, everyone as an individual human being has strange ideas, beliefs, and observations, like on an idiosyncratic level. So I'm not really embarrassed because anyone who would judge me for that would be a hypocrite and basically doesn't matter. 
And this is the largest sketchbook that I really like. It looks so badass. It is A4 hardcover, not as heavy as it looks. Um, but inside, I like using the larger scheme, larger format to do a bit of research because sometimes when you're doing research for a project like a design or you want to be inspired for a painting, it's helpful to print reference images of where your inspirations came from and put them on a little like research page. And also I do other collages or um, drawings from imagination or drawings from observation on these larger pages as well. For example, this is a salon I attended where we talked about the theme of disappointment and I wrote a lot of notes in the margins. Don't be shy to write. And here I wrote like a day in my life in the format of a, re of a review, excuse me. And also all the colors in my pencil box it as sentences, if colors were sentences. So sometimes observational, sometimes very abstract. And there's no, there's really no, uh, pressure of perfection, I think, when it comes to having a sketchbook. Uh, this was a lecture at the Royal Institution that really blew my mind. It made me realize that a lot of life is based off intuition and resonance. And this is Leighton House, one of my favorite museums in London. Now, what I'm drawing, I realized while I was doing figure drawing here, for example, oh, that's the that's an orphanage museum. It's called the Foundling Museum that I quite like as well. So I've noticed I like to collage and I like to write. I like to keep track of my ideas and find a lot of inspiration from images I am drawn to as well. And starting from here, this was a design for a art competition at school for the Obelisk of Luxor, the renovation tarp. I was a finalist, but the Minister of Culture at the time she didn't pick my project. And I had like a whole meltdown because of that, um, which now I realize it's all just so funny. It's not that serious. It never really is. Another shortlisted project for um, the a Yacht Expo in Versailles, in Port de Versailles. I did my design based off a monarch butterfly, which obviously I thought my design was the best but you know whatever and here i've noticed do you ever get this issue where you have a ton of different sketchbooks and you have a few like really good pages in each one but if you want to like submit a sketchbook for something you need to have them all in one place well guess what i solved that i chopped up my old sketchbook from paris these are all the places i visited and drew in the class visite destinée with philippe comard and valerie saunier so this was at the Natural History Museum in their reserve collections, a coelacanth. And here this was this really cool wax museum of skin diseases and Rodin's lovers and um, the great uh, Jardin des Plantes Museum of Natural History once again to draw dinosaur bones. Mille Paris Tech to see their cabinet of mineralogy, a uh, Parisian soiree on the back. And a little self-portrait I did I also like to write backwards in my notebooks Ooh, because it's fun and because people can't read it so easily that way. It's also interesting to me. And I, th I love seeing the ways a drawing can be beautiful in different manners, either very subtle and delicate or very aggressive. And here is another way you can switch it up. For example, I was planning to do an organza silk and cotton dress with the drawings on it. And I used this tracing paper to sort of get that layering effect. On the right is an illustration I did for France Culture, Once Upon a Time, on the topic of childhood. And I have a layer of organza on top of the paper drawing. This is another project proposal I did for a mural inspired by music. There's a bit of synesthesia going on. I colored in the sheet music with the colors I was feeling from the melody. And here is a little character I invented that sort of reflects myself going through life. It's all in French, so God knows if the jury members will be able to read it or not. But I think you can really feel the energy from a drawing more so than how important the text is. And these are some drawings from last summer in Sicily, in Galveston, Texas, in Margate, Kent. And it was a time when I was experimenting with a more loose hair-like frenetic drawing style. And that was pretty much the end 
I didn't feel the pressure to really fill all the pages. So I think that's a good thing because once I get them back, I'll be able to keep using them. And the point isn't to just like have page fillers or like a stocking stuffer, right? You want quality. Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. You can find me on Instagram under La Princesse des Beaux-Arts. And I'm looking forward to sharing other videos about art, culture, my life in London as an artist, and so much more about creativity. Bye. Love you. Ciao. Au revoir.